Freedom Caucus Chairman Rep. Mark Meadows revealed Tuesday during the House Judiciary and Oversight Committee's hearing regarding the FBI's handling of the Hillary Clinton investigation that the FBI may have altered or manipulated the witness interviews compiled by investigators during both the Clinton and Russia investigations. The information, if proven true, could have significant implications in the case brought against against former National Security Advisor L.T. Gen. Michael Flynn by Special Counsel Robert Mueller's office, where conflicting testimony and statements made by former FBI Director James Cummey, would call into question whether the agents who interviewed Flynn believed he was either lying or telling the truth. Meadows was questioning Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz, saying there is growing evidence that 302's FBI interview reports were edited and changed. Those 302's, it is suggested that they were changed to either prosecute or not prosecute individuals. And that is very troubling. Behind closed doors, in March 2017 Cami told Congress that the agents who interviewed Flynn on January 24, 2017 did not believe that Flynn was lying. Cami later appeared to walk back his statement during an interview with Brett Baer on Fox News, suggesting that he didn't recall making those statements to Congress, as previously reported. However, an unreacted section of the House Intelligence Committee's Russia report specifically stated, Director Cummy testified to the committee that the agents discerned no physical indications of deception. They didn't see any change in posture, in tone, in inflection, in eye contact. They saw nothing that indicated to them that he knew he was lying to them. If Flynn's 302s were altered, or if the information in them was manipulated, that would be significant. For some time, several Sarah Akata.com sources have made that suggestion. They also stated that former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McKay was irate and wanted to find some way to prove Flynn lied to them during the interview. Ironically, McCabe was fired this year days before his official retirement and is now facing possible charges for lying under oath based on evidence discovered by Horowitz. Meadows did not say which interviews may have been tampered with or which agents may have been involved. Meadows also suggested that the FBI was not forthright with Horowitz, whose office released a scathing 568-page report on the Bureau's handling of the Clinton matter last Last week, he said the FBI's reasons for redacting the names of two anonymous FBI employees identified in the report were based on the false premise that they were working in the counterintelligence division of the Bureau. They don't work in counterintelligence, Meadows told Horowitz. If that's the reason the FBI is giving, they're giving you false information, because they work for the FBI General Counsel. Meadows named FBI attorneys, Kevin Kleine Smith and Sully Moyer during the hearing and asked Horowitz if he could confirm that they were two of the unnamed agents in the report. Horowitz declined to confirm or deny the names out of concern and at the request of the Bureau. Want to know more about 302s and the FBI's interviewing process? Tomorrow, I speak exclusively with a former senior FBI official who will break it all down. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like like these in your inbox. Share this video with your friends and family. Facebook's new algorithm changes have decimated the reach and the ad revenue of independent news sources like ours. Please become a patron of our news website and help us pay our writers by making a small contribution. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com once again that is www.atthismall.com. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.j. DRO.my, RNF.com, all links are in the description box below. We have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.